Good morning. Mukbang time. Here's your tuna patty mixed with mushroom and cucumber. And then we have the mackerel with tomato sauce, but I put some noodles in it and with spinach. And the buad. I put some tomatoes, garlic, and onion with olive oil. Okay. And my favorite, the dried squid. Brown rice? And brown rice. Kaunta. Kaunta. Filipino style. Nice. Mm. What is nice? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this is nice. Mm. Mahal ng allergy basta mga tao. Look at the first. Hmm? We bought this one in Philippines, guys. It's a brew in Tabuan. And this one, I think it's 9 kilos. 9 kilos? Hmm? 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 peso? 900. 900 peso per kilo. It's a dried squid. So we bought this one in Philippines during our holiday. So we're not, we're not eating like all the time because it's not good for us. This one. Not good for your skin. Yes, good for my skin. Yeah, my skin is good. Yeah, good for the speed. Actually, I get allergy every time I eat like the blood, dried squid, or dried squid, dried fish. But I'm still eating it. If it's yummy, but don't worry. I got backup. I got backup needs. Tablet. Mm. Yum. Mm. I feel like you guys were here in Brisbane and it's winter time here. What is winter season? Winter. Winter. But this morning is really cold. But Right now it's like lunchtime, middle of the day, not really. No. But it's okay. Yummy fried yum squid. But before I cook the dried squid and dried fish, I need to wash it first. It need to be washed. I don't know if other people what um on any first step nila for before um cooking dried fish or dried squid, but for me I need to wash it first. It's a little bit sweet, it's nice. Did you put honey? Yeah. Mm. And this one this kind of, you know, dish with a dried fish, I saw this one in Magandang Buhay. I, I, I forgot what um, place that, but it's a hotel and ito yung, parang it's best nila na, na dish. But they use the 
they're using what they call the lapad one the fish yeah the dried fish the other one the small one then get then get yeah they're using they're using then get for this one like put tomato um onion garlic and ginger and then oil um but i'm using my i'm using my um olive oil but i think theirs um they're using vegetable oil but mine is olive oil so yeah, and then I put like honey as well to make like, it's like sweet and sour, but it's not that sweet. No, I like the tomato and the... Yeah, and the tomato you have and to the cook. To, you have to caramelize the tomato, the onion, and then the garlic. So it will taste good. So wala na yung malansa because it's really yummy. So that's what I love, um, the dry fish, if you're going to cook like this one instead of like cook dried fish by it, by itself so even i'm itchy <laughs> it's okay it's okay yum yum so the whole So only me and Jen will eat this. The boy here is like that. This one. I like this one then. I love that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kaon in Philippines. Like to my mom and dad and to all my pamankins mm. and sisters and brothers. Let's see this one with a coffee. I'm we'll make coffee. Are you making coffee? I'm making coffee. How about me? This is a pack though. No, Not just fresh oil. Coffee, please. Thank you very much. <coughs> I feel I'm really itchy you now.
didn't fit in there. I'm sorry? No, it doesn't fit in. Just a mug did that. Dad, I have the the naka naka pack na siya na ko ano ba? There's a lot of mug did that, oh? No, I want the big one. No, just mine is like a separate na lang. That one. I think you have to. I don't know if the water is still like hot. You can use here. Not here. It is so much. Very good shape. I said you're not Filipino if you don't eat dried fish. Not a Filipino. And the guinemos. That's what I was like telling me. My friend Sia. So I'm done guys, we're done, um, I can't finish, but I, I eat like not that much, so I have a coffee, so it's nice with the dried fish and dried um, squid with this um, noodles, um, mackerel, tomato, and then yeah, it's nice with the coffee, so Hope you like it guys and thank you for watching and don't forget to share, subscribe and hit the bell button below. Thank you. Bye.